Today we are going to install Visual Studio Code and G++ compiler. So, so many people are facing problem while installing Visual Studio Code and running C++ in that. So, my request is to you all, please see full video very properly by giving proper attention so that you can also install it and run it properly. So, let's get started. So, now we will start opening this browser. Now, first of all, we have to install VS Code. So, we will search VS Code or we can say Visual Studio Code also. So, we have to open this first link. And now, we will download this. Let it open. Now, it is open. So, you can download it for Windows, Mac OS, Linux. So, I am using Windows. So, I am downloading for Windows. So, it will get start download. I had already downloaded it, so I will not download it again. You can click on save and download it. Other than that, we need to search here MinGW and enter. And then we will click on this first link. And then we will click on download. And then MinGW will start downloading. When we will click on save, and then it will be downloaded. So I had already downloaded it so now i am going to install it so first of all we will install mingw setup we will click on install continue and it will start installing so what is mingw it is an installation manager setup tool that is used to install different compilers that are useful for c c plus plus programming so let it download and uh, set up and then i will tell you what to do next so it is downloaded and 100% complete so now we will click on continue and then it will open main gw installation manager will be open if it not opens you can check here also a desktop shortcut will be there you can open it from here now what we have to do here we have to select two things this main gw 32 base we will click on this and then we will click on mark for installation and then we will click on mingw32 gcc g++ and mark for installation we have to mark these two for installation and then click on installation and then apply changes and then we have to click here on apply so what it will do it will download these two things and after downloading we will see what to do next so let's install Visual Studio Code. So we will click on the setup of Visual Studio Code. It is opening. Here it is open. We have to click on I accept again next. Now here are some options. We can check these two options first and second in other. Add open with code. Add open with code in Window Explorer file content menu and in Window Explorer directory context menu. I will tell you later that why we had checked these options. Now we will click on next. Again now install and it will install. Both things had installed here. Now we will click on their launch Visual Studio Code. And first of all we will close this. As it is written all changes were applied successfully. Now we will close this. And we will also close this. And we can open this Visual Studio Code. So Visual Studio Code is opening. See now what we have to do here. You can see here I had made a program. Get started dot cpp. I will show you by running it. First of all I want to say tell you that we have to install some extensions. This is a section where we can install extension. We will click here. So what we need c slash c plus plus intelligence. This one. We will install this. We can install this extension and we also want one another extension that is called code runner so we will install code runner also and now these are installed let me close this let me close this all we had installed these two i will now show you how to open this i had made a folder here c++ which i will open using visual studio code i can open like this right click and then open with Visual Studio Code or I can open like this selecting the folder right click open with Visual Studio Code here 
so you have seen these two options open with visual studio code we have ticked that two options that i had taught you i will tell you later that's why it is showing us that open with visual studio code so now it is opened so when we will start running let's see what happen here we will click on run so output is here c++ let's get started so as you had seen the output is here so we had uh, very finely run it but still someone if facing any problem like uh, error like g++ compiler error so i have also solution for that it is giving an error the term g++ is not recognized as name of cmd let function script or operatable program check the spelling of the name or path included verify the path is correct and try again so what you have to do you have to give a path if it is not running still then what you have to do we have to give a path you have to go in c and then click on mingw and then click on bin and then select this path and right click copy this path and you have to paste this payment settings you will type your env and it is came here edit the system environment variables we will click here and we will open this and uh, after opening this what we have to do we have to click on environment variables and then we have to click on path in path we have to click on edit and here we have to add the path my path is already there but if you don't have path here so you have to add the path by clicking let me delete this path now see no path is there and in your also computer or pc no path will be there so you have to add the path by clicking on new here control v and your path will be added you will click on ok what you have to do you have to add the path in system variables and then click on ok then ok then ok then your error will be solved if you are getting an error here so that error will be solved if still it is getting an error so you have to close that and then open it again open that file again with visual studio code and then you can run it then it will obviously run so with help of code runner we can run it very smoothly like we will click here and it will run the program it will run the program in terminal and you can also face problem while running it in a terminal so i am also telling you about that you have to go in settings and then go in settings again here and you have to search here code run when you will write this code runner you have to go down 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 and select uh, option run in terminal my option is checked you have to check this option if it is unchecked you have to check this option whether to run code in integrated terminal or not you have to check this option then only you can be able to run this code in this terminal by playing this option you can run this code in terminal other than that i can do one more setting for you going to settings i will show you here you, you can see keyboard shortcuts you can see the different type of keyboard shortcuts coming here you can use these keyboard shortcuts like i am using one shortcut like i am clicking here control b control b what happened it has hide the explorer see it is hiding the explorer by using control b so you can also see these keyboard shortcuts here and uh, one more setting you can do that is going in settings and you have to search mouse wheel when you will search mouse wheel this will come zoom the font of editor while using mouse wheel and holding control you have to check that when you will check that then what you can do you can zoom this content by clicking on control and then mouse wheeling you can zoom this content or you can unzoom this so this was all i have to tell you in this video if you want to watch more videos like this so please subscribe our channel